secure profit. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about when you should secure profit. Um, a lot of you guys are super excited to invest, and once you get started, um, you start seeing some gains. You're like, hey, you're just going to sit on those gains and ride it for the long run. But um, we all know that the stock market is like a jungle. You don't know when it's going to rain or it's going to shine. It's just confusing, right? So you have to have a strategy once you're in there. And so it, this is the reason why I'm actually uh, talking about it in today's video. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money. Money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell, guys, so you don't miss out on new content. So if you guys have been following me here on the channel, you guys know very well that I am very, very strong on the fact that you shouldn't be a greedy savage because this is not your market. You don't own the market. The market owns you and the market can control you as much as they want. But if you have your strategy, the market cannot mess with you as much as it would do with other people. So I always urge you guys to secure profit as much as you can. So um, that sentiment was actually shared by Jim Cramer recently where he said that for all these speculative stocks, all these sparks that are going public, uh, taking uh, companies public, if you have some money in there, definitely start securing some of those profit because uh, this, this whole speculative space is overhyped. So you can potentially see a pullback, massive pullback, not just a pullback. So he's like urging investors to start taking some profit out. I mean, mind you, this is he has actually endorsed some of these facts. Like uh, we have Butterfly uh, Network uh, going public. He actually endorsed that. He actually endorsed Arriver going public, which is good. He actually endorsed Canoe going public. So he it's not like he's saying, I don't want to invest in this. He's investing in them. But he's like, hey, secure profit, which is what I have been preaching all along here on the channel. Well, I'm not Jim Cramer, so I don't think a lot of you guys would listen and take me serious. But yeah, let me break this down for you. So each time I tell you guys that, hey, this is a particular spark, this company is going public, you know, or this is you can buy in, in you can buy in, in at the very low end and then sell at the very high end. I usually tell you guys, like, when I go in, again, this is my strategy. I don't know if, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you, but figure out what works for you, but have a strategy. When I go in into these parks, I buy, uh, when I see that they've announced a merger, I go in and I buy this park company stock. I hold it. When it goes public, it goes up, I make profit, I take out my initial investment, I walk away. Whatever is left in there is what I made from that trade. That is how I do it. So if I buy a share at ten dollars, it goes up to twenty. I've doubled my investment. I take out my initial investment. I take that and go find something else to put it in. That makes me a very smart investor. Some some people might say a lousy one because what if you take out at twenty, it goes up to twenty five thirty. Well, I would sit back and be like, oh, I wish I knew. But at the same time, what if it gets to 20 and then pulls back to 15 and 10? Oh, you probably see those like, you wish you knew, right? So I'm like right in the middle. You can call me a lousy investor, but that's my strategy. It works and it protects me. So, and now that Jim Cramer is coming out and saying it, I think I have not been wrong all along. I've been right all along. Always secure those profits. If you don't want to, they have so many tools here that you can use on the platform. I do use Weibo. They have stop loss you can put in. They have trailing stops that you can put in. As a matter of fact, I have videos on the channel that I cover those. But Jim Cramer saying this, it means that he too has seen that. People are just getting callous with all these sparks and just like putting money here, putting money there without actually having a strategy. So again, I'm going to break down my strategy to you guys. Once I go in, my goal is to try to buy as low as possible and once it goes up those pick, I sell my initial investment. So if I buy 100 shares and it goes up, if it double, I'm cutting it to 50. It doesn't matter if it's going to triple. I don't have to sit there and wait for it to triple. I cut it right at that double price mark and then I'm moving on. If it triples, that's fine. I, I take my chances and I move on and I go find the next big thing to invest my money in. That has always been my strategy. So if you have investment in all of these parks that are coming, out right now because this year alone has been the year of the spark and again for those of you that don't quite know what these companies are these are blind check companies that um, come together with the sole purpose of taking another company 
public and in the process making a ton of money. So you take a company that has a nice product or good service, you take them public and make money in the process because once those IPOs or I mean once the merger complete, you usually see the price of the stock will spike and these guys will make a ton of money in the process and they move on and go from a new spark and they're looking for the next big thing again to invest in. If they are doing it, what about you that's investing in those parks? So that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm following them. It's just, it just at this very small level, at a very, very micro level. So if they invest in a company, it goes public, they take their money and form a new spark and they're looking for the next big thing to invest, I do the same. If you invest there, it goes up, I sell, I take my initial investment, I'm following them to go invest in the next thing that they want to invest in and make that money too. So I'm actually keeping up with these guys. So let me know if this is something that you've tried or how do you go about making sure that you don't get burned in the market, that the gains that you've actually uh, secured in the market, you have them. How do you secure your gains or do you just buy and never look back and hope that it will continue to go up over the long run or you continue to ride the waves? Again, for me, the stocks that I own that I have actually taken my initial money out, I can ride the wave. I don't really care about those. But my initial investment, that's what I care about. I'll take it and keep moving. So that's my strategy. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, Weibo again is doing a promotion right now. I think it ends like December 14, where if you sign up and deposit $100 between now and December 14, you get four free stocks just for doing that. Signing up and depositing a minimum of $100 dollars you get those four free stocks i'll put the links in the description below and again guys i preach this every day don't be a greedy savage the market is not your friend always secure those profits as a matter of fact i do have don't be a greedy service merch on my website uh if you can look on teespring uh check them in in the description below you probably see a link there get one of those to remind you that you should always always secure profit. Don't think that the market is your friend. The minute you become so comfortable thinking that you understand that the market is your friend, that's when you're gonna get smacked in the head and you don't want to be in that situation. And as always, stay motivated.